Welcome to tutorial on Cadence Virtuoso. This video is about the design of half adder circuit using 14 nanometer CMOS technology. For designing a half adder circuit, XOR and AND gates are necessary. I have already designed the AND gate with two inputs and one output and its schematic symbol. Similarly, an XOR with two input and its schematic. By using these two gates, I am going to de design this half adder. For designing a half adder, you can bring the instances from this. Select the view to symbol similarly an end gate into the work area provide the necessary connection a B similarly provide the necessary inputs from this library analog library and you can just type the V pulse get the ground connect the grounds connect these inputs Provide the necessary VDD supply by using the VDC, a DC source. I'll place this. You can give the net name as VDD here. You can directly connect in this manner or you can provide the wire names. Provide the name as VDD. So provide this name to VDD here and here. Now you can see whether they are connected or not. Go to the view. Click on net highlighting. Before that you just check and save. And you can observe that the two VDDs are connected provide the output pins change the direction to output call that as sum the second one is carry connect this Check and save the design. Design is completed. Provide the DC supply. Edit object properties by pressing Q. Provide the voltage to 1. 1 volt. Similarly, define the inputs. Select this. Press Q. Provide 0 to 1. Period of the pulses. 100 pico pulse width is 50 pico you can provide the rise time as 2 pico 
Similarly, this zero to one. Next, two hundred pico and pulse width of hundred pico. Rise time again of two pico or five pico. Click OK. You can provide the net names or the labels. Click on create pin. Call that as A as input and B as the input. You can directly connect here so that these name appear in the simulation results. So everything is done. You can see that if you go into the hierarchy by pressing Shift E, you can view the entire schematic is present. To come out of this, use Control E. Check and save the design. Click on Launch, ADL. You can select the analysis from here or choose the analysis right click edit i am going to perform the transient analysis for around 500 picoseconds and this one for plotting the inputs from the design that is i want to have a b as the input sum and carry as the output for my half adder circuit so add this to the ADL window. You can click on netlist and run. It shows that error because I'm not going to use here any GPDK for that. I'm using the PTM models. So for that, go to the setup model libraries. Add the model libraries, which I have already created. That is 14 nanometer I'm using. Click OK. Now you can click on Netlist and run. The result of half adder that is for 1 1, the sum is 0, the carry is 1. But I want to have the delay also from this. For that, you can add two more plots. From the design that is this is the source and this is the voltage that is the current and voltage multiplied you will get the total power or average power so select this to be plotted and this one they got added here VDD and changing current now re-simulate this structure Click on split the traces. To observe the average power from this plot, select these two plots that is changing current or switching current multiplied by the voltage. Right click on it, click on send to calculator and just press on the multiplication symbol. You can see that the VDD multiplied by the current and from the function you select the function called average to get the average per hour and you click on evaluate the buffer 15.3 microwatts is the power it can be added directly to the edl window by sending this click on this and you can close this. See that an expression is loaded. You can edit this by right click, edit, name this average power. Click OK. Rerun this so that you can get the value directly in the ADL window. The same results 
this time i have the result here the average power is around 15.36 microwatts